art by Inked Playmats at InkedPlaymats.com. Your place for custom-made playmats. Design your own or shop from other featured designers. Use promo code CLOTSDILL to save 10% on your order. Inked Playmats. Your game, your style. ...to do on their website and come join us for a fun-friendly F&M environment. From Klotz Productions, and welcome back to Game 2 of the match between Esper Tempo and Jund. Andrew was on the play for this game and started out with a couple of hallowed fountains along with an island. Meanwhile, Chris played a woodland cemetery along with an evolving wilds which he used to search for a forest. Chris played a far seek and laid down a dragon skull summit and then found a blood crypt with the far seek. Meanwhile, Andrew played a forbidden alchemy to find a card and discarded two glacial fortresses along with an azurius charm. Andrew found a swamp with an evolving wilds and then Chris attempted to resolve an Olivia Valderin, however Andrew countered it with a dissipate. Andrew put a planes into play and played an auger of bolus, finding himself a thought scour. Chris then played a slaughter games, naming Snapcaster Mage. He didn't find any in Andrew's hand, however he was able to exile them from his library. Chris then laid down a rootbound crag and then at the end of the turn, Andrew played his thought scour, milling an island along with one of his rune chanter's pikes. He played a second Thought Scour on his turn, milling a Lingering Souls along with a Restoration Angel. He then played an Appetite for Brains to look at Chris's hand and forced him to discard a Garrick Primal Hunter. Then he attacked with his Augur for 1, taking Chris down to 19. Chris attempted a Rakdos' return for 5, however Andrew countered it with another Dissipate. He then put a Drowned Catacomb into play on his turn and attacked with his Augur again, taking Chris to 18. Then post-combat, he flashed back his Lingering Souls to get himself two Spirit Tokens. Chris then played a second Rakdos' return for 5, however before it resolved, Andrew flashed in a Restoration Angel to blink his Augur of Bolas. He found a Lingering Souls with the Augur and then pitched his hand and took 5 damage, going down to 15. Andrew drew and played another Forbidden Alchemy on his turn to find himself another card. He then flashed back his second Lingering Souls to get 2 more Spirit Tokens and then attacked with the rest of his team for another 6 damage, taking Chris down to 12. Chris used the Dreadbore on his turn to kill Andrew's Restoration Angel. He then played a Huntmaster of the Fells, going back up to 14 and getting himself a Wolf Token. Then at the end of the turn, Andrew played another Thought Scour to mill himself and draw another card. He attacked for four more in the air with his Spirits, taking Chris down to 10 life. Then he got rid of Chris's Wolf Token with an Unsummon. Chris then played another Huntmaster of the Fells on his turn, going back up to 12 life and getting himself another Wolf Token. Andrew flashed back a Forbidden Alchemy on his turn, and then attacked with three of his spirits this time, taking Chris down to nine life. Then Chris just laid down a land and passed his turn, so during Andrew's next upkeep, both of his Huntmasters transformed into Ravagers of the Fells. They did four damage to Andrew, taking him down to eleven, and killed two of his spirit tokens. Andrew laid down a Glacial Fortress, and then just attacked with one spirit this time, taking Chris down to eight life. Chris then attacked with both of his Ravagers, which Andrew decided to take, going down to three. Then post-combat, he played a far seek and found himself an overgrown tomb. At the end of the turn, Andrew flashed back another Forbidden Alchemy, and then on his turn, he played another Augur of Bolas and found himself an Essence Scatter, but chose to pass without attacking this time. Chris then attacked with his two Ravagers again, so Andrew chump blocked with his two Augurs of Bolas and took the two Trample Damage, going down to one life. Chris then laid down a Mountain, and at the end of the turn, Andrew used an Azurius Charm to draw a card. Andrew played a Geist of St. Traft on his turn, along with another Lingering Souls, getting himself two more Spirit Tokens. Then during Chris's upkeep, since two spells were played on the previous turn, his two Ravagers transformed back into Huntmaster of the Fells. This gained him four life, going up to twelve, and got himself two more Wolf Tokens. Chris just laid down a Swamp on his turn, and then passed, in an attempt to force his Huntmasters to transform again. However, Andrew played an Unsummon at the end of the turn to get rid of one of Chris's Wolf Tokens. He then flashed back another Lingering Souls on his turn to get two more spirits and keep the Huntmasters from flipping again. Chris then attacked with his two Wolf Tokens, so Andrew traded for them with four of his spirits. Then at the end of the turn, Andrew flashed in a Restoration Angel. Andrew then finally drew his second Rune Chanter's Pike, which he played and equipped to his Angel. He then attacked in the air with his Angel along with his Geist, giving him the win and taking them to Game 3. So that's it for this gameplay. I hope you all enjoyed it. You can find the full version and the annotations at the end, along with links to my vlog and my Let's Play Duels of the Planeswalkers 2013. If you like this or any other video, be sure to give it a thumbs up and possibly add it to your favorites, and then subscribe to be notified when more videos are online.